Welcome, Bakra Nation. Uh, today, we want to take a look at the Dallin Bear betting progression. We just programmed that into this uh, strategy simulator Excel sheet. And just a quick update we are adding more betting progressions to this. And after we add a couple more of the popular betting progressions, then we're going to look into uh, make custom. Uh, betting progression options. So right now you can program in your bet selection, you can customize it. Then we're going to look into programming in the the uh, a customizable bet progression. But today we're going to take a look at the take a look at the Dallin Bear. And so the 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 Dallin Bear uh, way this betting progression works is that the goal is to win one unit. So if you have a ten thousand dollar bankroll, your first goal is to win one unit which which in this case uh, $100 is one unit so the first goal is 10,100 and so if you bet a hundred dollars starting with one unit bet and you lose you'd increase from one to two units and then if you lost again you go from two to three units so 200 to 300 if you lose again you go from three to four units 300 to 400 now let's say at the $400 bet you won you then decrease your bets from four units to three units and then if you won again, you'd decrease from three units down to two units. So if you lose, you increase the units. And if you win, you decrease the units. So let's do a little example. Uh, our overall goal is, and every time you achieve your goal of one unit, then you're then gonna increase your goal uh, by up, uh, you're increased by one unit. So once you won your first hundred bucks, your next goal is gonna be an extra hundred bucks. So 10,200. So overall, our goal is to win a thousand bucks. We're gonna start with the bankroll at ten thousand. Our one unit bet is a hundred bucks. Let's go with a five thousand dollar table limit. We're not gonna bet tie, but if we did, it would pay out eight to one. Let's go with seventy-five hands per shoe, so roughly an eight deck game. Uh, we use the Dallin Bear. Let's bet with the trend. So we're gonna bet the same as the last. So it'd be you know betting with the trend. And we're gonna do that until it gets choppy, until there's three chops in a row, three opposites. Once that happens, we are gonna sit out and we're not gonna bet until the trend comes back, until we get two of the same in the row. So we're just gonna continue this little pattern of betting with the trend and then sitting out once it gets choppy. Well, let, me, let me fix this. So let's just continue to bet this. Uh, that should be fine. And then we'll stop betting. We'll say until we get 10 players. So then we'll just stop betting. All right, so let's run it. Round limit reached. So we ran out. So the shoe ended, 75, and we did not achieve our goal. Of, we started at 10,000. The goal is to win 1,000 to be at 1,100. So we stopped betting. Uh, we stopped betting. And it looks like we were going to start betting once we got two in a row. So it looks like it just became choppy. Or actually, maybe we're down here. But, but let's take a look at another one. All right, goal is reached. We started with 10,000. Our goal is to win 1,000, 1,100. We won that in 22 hands. So this hand zero this is just set by default it'll switch back and forth between player and banker so that for our first hand we can bet the same so actually this is this first rule the same we're just going to bet the same as the last so we bet player and it was player so we won we bet a hundred bucks and so our bankroll goes from ten thousand to ten thousand one hundred and our our goal was ten thousand one hundred do we reach it Yes, so our new goal is 10,200. And we're gonna bet the same as the last, but it was banker, so we lost. So we bet one unit and we lost. Our bankroll went down to 10,000. Did we reach our goal at 10,200? False, so we're gonna keep it the same. We're gonna bet the same as the last, and it, we bet banker, and it was banker, so we won. Uh, and the Dallin Bear, when you bet one unit you lose, you increase it to two units. So we increase it to two units. So our bankroll went from 10,000 to 10,200. Did we reach our goal at 10,200? Yes, we did. 
So we're going to go to 10,300. Um, you know, you guys could take a screenshot or just kind of pause it if you want to go through all, all the different hands. But um, essentially, we're betting the same until we get three chops in a row. Player, banker, player. And so for ties, we ignore. So player, player, it's we, we ignore the tie. So that's two of the same, but player, banker, player, that's three chops. So once we get three chops, three chops, and we're going to sit up. We're not going to bet until we get two in a row. So we go, so we're not going to bet. That's right here. So we're not going to bet player, banker, ooh, player, player. We got two in a row. So now we're going to start to bet again on the next rule, which is we're going to bet the same until we get three chops. So it looks like we're betting the same. And uh, but for the down bear, we bet and we won. So then we we start the, the cycle over. So we bet and we lost. So we go from one unit to two units. And then we won. So we go from two units back to one unit. Then we we lost. So we go from one unit to two units. Push on a tie. So we're. And, and we won so we're back down to one unit and we won so we start the cycle over and we're at one unit and we lost so we go to two units we lost so we go from two to three units but we're going to hit our goal so we're going to start the cycle over the goal is 10,500 oh no we, we uh, didn't but we're going to go back down to one unit and so we're at 10,400 the goal is 10,500 so we, we don't bet more than the goal so we'll cap our goal so as, as, instead of going from three units down to two units that would put us over the goal that put us if we we just want to go from 400 to 500 to hit the goal not go over so that's why we're going to cap the bets from three units down to one unit you, you want to cap your bets so you, the numbers don't get go to up to four five six seven eight units you don't want to increase your risk by betting too high you want to so that's why we cap to hit the goal and not go over but as we just follow this progression we just we hit a little nice little win streak and so that's the the down bear let's just run it once or twice more okay we won in 25 units okay the goal limit looks like we ran out of we hit the shoe ended we were down let's do it one more time same thing oh. so we lost 100 bucks We'll do it one more time. Let's see if we can win. Goal is reached. In 40 hands, we won. Let's go to the simulation, the Monte Carlo simulation. All right, the same units are the same parameters. Goal 1,000, bankroll 10,000. Started 100 bucks. Max table limit 5,000. The tie bet will ignore 75 per round. Dell and Bear. Uh, let's check it over 1,000 let's do the same strategy so we're gonna betting we're gonna bet the trend until it gets choppy we're gonna sit out we're gonna wait for the trend to come back on it two and this we're just testing the down bear on this uh bet the trend essentially okay so let's see how we do let's see how good the strategy is Okay, let's get some data points. Uh, 543, so that's roughly 500 is out of 1,000 is about 50%. Then we have some small wins. It looks like the losses, this is losing your whole bankroll, or no, only up to 6,500. Looks like you have smaller losses that trail off. Um, you'll lose less, uh, you lose a smaller amount more, and then just kind of trails off to you lose most of your bankroll a, a lesser amount of time. But let's go down here and add these up. Uh, okay, so we got a thousand results, which matches our thousand trials or thousand shoes. Okay, let's check out total win and break even. This just makes it a little bigger. And so that's going to be the summation of all the times that we won plus broke even, which is this one. Let's take a look at the total times that we won. We'll leave out the break even. That'll be the summation of 
these numbers. Let's take a look at the times that we lost. We lose money. That would be the summation of starting here. We lost 100. And the summation of all the way up here, we lost 6,500. Let's turn them into a percentage. 697 divided by 1,000. So 69.7% um, of the time you'll win or break even, so roughly 70%. The profitable is minus breaking is pretty close at almost 68% and losing looks like it's roughly 30% of the time. Okay, great. Let's go over to the Wizard of Odds site. And actually, I'm going to put a link in the notes to this video. So this is Michael Shackle Shackleford, the Wizard of Odds. His website is Wizard of Odds. Great site to practice. Uh, he gives a, a full breakdown explanation of that Dallin Bear system. So if you want to watch that video, very helpful. All right, so let's put this into practice, see how we do. Let's have our goal to be win 1,000, 1,000 bucks. So we're about the one unit at 100 bucks. So we're at a bankroll of 10,000. Our first goal is 10,100. We're gonna start with one unit bet. So new shoe, 100 bucks. Okay, we got a tie, it's a push. Okay, we won, so we're at 10,100. Great, so the new goal is 10,200. And so we start back over with a one unit bet. So let's keep the player going. Okay, we won, that's great. All right, so we're gonna, the new goal is 10,300. So we're gonna start over the bet. Um, let's let's keep the player going okay we lost so we just lost so we're gonna go from one unit to to two units so from 100 to 200 dollar bet let's uh, let's go with the banker let's kind of follow the trend kind of about what our Excel strategy simulation was so we lost so now we're gonna go from two units to three units so we're gonna go from 200 to 300 dollar bet Actually, I'm going to break away from the Excel strategy. I'll just kind of play this uh, freehand. I, it looks choppy to me. So let's go three on the banker and loss. So I'm going to go from three units to four units. Player, oops, player is four to one. You know, let's just go banker one more time. So from three to four units. Ooh, player strong. Okay, we're gonna go from four to five units. Player is very strong. Okay, so we just won on five units, so we're gonna go from five to four units. And if we were to win at four units, that'd put us at 10,100. Keep that in mind, because you don't want to go over the, the goal of 10,300. So let's bet four units on player. Okay, player is very strong. All right, so now we're at 10,100 and then Alan Barry you typically go from four units down to three units but if we were to bet three units and win that put us at 10,400 the goal is 10,300 so I'm going to cap the bet uh, down to just two units so we can hit the goal without going over um, some people like to cap some don't um, I use capping as a, a risk management strategy so if you're losing, you don't want to continually increase your, your bets and be betting 8, 9, 10, 11 units. When you hit a down streak like that, you're highly increasing your chances to go bust versus if you cap the units and keep the wins and losses small. Um, that, that's my preference. So we're just going to bet two units instead of going from four to three units. We're just bet 200 to hit the goal, not go over. Player looks strong. Let's try it. Two units. We lost, but you know what? Seven to two. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick with player. But now, since we lost, we're gonna go from two to three units, because that's the down bear. Okay. You know we're looking like a trendy shoe versus a player strong. So let's go from four to three units on the trend. I'm striking out here. Let's go from four to five units. I'll play it on the trend. Okay, so we just won. We're gonna go from five down to four units. 
I'll keep the trend going even though yeah, I'm gonna keep the trend going we could be getting into a case of two two twos I'm gonna play the trend versus the pattern okay we won the goal is still 10,300 so we want to cap it at two bets so we're gonna go from four units down to two units I'm gonna keep the trend going sort of bet two units okay we hit 10,300 the new goal is now 10,400 so the old goal plus one unit so the goal is 10,400 start the betting progression over at one unit uh, this looks trendy and player strong so I'm gonna bet one unit on player okay we hit 10,400 new goal is 10,500 uh, some people might look at this pattern and, and say that the players will be done but I'm gonna bet the trend which is streaky versus the pattern and overall look at the strength of player so I'm just gonna keep the the trend going versus the pattern we lost so the pattern won but I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with trend and we lost we go from one unit to two units we lost go from two to three units I'm gonna stick with trend we won so now we're at 10,400 so the goal is 10,500 so instead of the down bear going from three to two units I'm gonna cap it at one unit to hit the goal I'm go with trend and we got to 10,500 new goal 10,600 start the betting progression over at a one I'm gonna keep the trend going All right, 10,600, next goal is 10,700. I'm gonna stop saying trend, and I could probably just bet player only for the rest of this and, and hit the goal pretty easy. So let's see what happens. Okay, we hit 10.7, the new goal is 10.8. Kind of a boring shoe if you keep winning, let's just keep the player going. Okay, perfect, we lost. So we're gonna go from one unit to two units. I'm just gonna stick on player, seems to be a player strong shoe. All right, we're gonna go from two to three units for the Dallin Bear. I'm gonna stick with player. Okay, so we just won. Instead of going from three to two units, the goal is 10,800, so I'm gonna cap it at one bet. I'm gonna stick with player. We lost. I'm going to stick with player. Go from one unit to two units. It'll put us at the goal. 10-8, not over. Okay, we're at 10-8. Let's go for 10-9. We start the betting progression over. Looks like we could be getting choppy. I'm not going to trace the chop. I said I'm just going to stick with player. It's pretty strong. With a down bear, you can win more than you lose, but the way you bet your, your units, you can still come out ahead. So instead of chasing the pattern of chop, I'm gonna stick to the one side. And there was the chop. Now we go from one to two units as a down bear. Up, oh, I'm gonna stick with it. Go from two to three units on player. Banker could be making a comeback. Okay, we're at 10,800. We're at the goal is 10,900. It looks choppy, but overall player strength. I'm going to stick with player. One unit hit the goal, not go over. And there was the chop. I'm going to ignore. Go from one to two units as a down bear accounts for. Boom, we hit it. 10,900. So overall, we just lost a lot there, but we're still hit our goal. Probably lost more than we won. All right, the final goal, 11,000. It's probably gonna be chopped, but I'm not gonna trace chase the pattern or the, the overall trend. I'm just gonna go with uh, player since it's so strong. Start the betting unit over, one unit. Boom, 11,000 on the dot. All right, so that was the Dallin Bear system. Um, as you lose, you increase your bets. As you win, you decrease your bets to hit your next goal. Uh, I cap so you don't go over. Uh, if we were to go back and count, I probably lost more than I won. But uh, overall, we hit the goal. That's the beauty of the Dallin Bear. Um, 
Thank you guys for watching and more videos to come. Stay tuned.